when my friend got Bob, he was just under a year old and his name was Timothy, which he did not even know. His owner was a woman who worked 18 hours a day, so Bob was either left in his cage or her 18-year-old son was supposed to look after him. Oh, but the son abused him. Bob is a cross Chihuahua and Jack Russell. But by the end of the first weekend, and they got him on a Friday, he already knew his new name. Their 10-year-old long-haired Chihuahua taught Bob many things about being in a house where there are no cages. Both dogs stay in the large kitchen. Bob has certainly come out of his shell and has such a sweet personality and they love him. But they want his world to consist of more than just the house and the backyard. He's still afraid of loud noises, the wind, oh, and the leash. Although Bob will walk on the leash, when he wears it, he's back to the old, timid Bob. So any advice would be of great help. <sighs> well, bless your heart and bless your friend's heart for adopting this needy little dog. And um, I'll tell you what, some, some dogs, even if they aren't abused, some dogs, there's a percentage of dogs, and cats for that matter, that are just born extra shy and it just takes a lot of extra effort to bring them out of their shell. Uh, it sounds like Bob is is very smart and very responsive. He does learn very quickly. Um, I'm thinking that possibly the whole idea of the leash and the collar, you don't mention whether they're using a collar or a halter, but a collar around the neck, particularly if, if he's not been handled very well, that could be pretty off-putting to a little dog. So I would suggest go with a harness instead of a collar and then start associating really, really good stuff with the leash. So every time the leash comes out, don't even put the leash on Bob at first. Just bring the leash out and make it smell really good. You know, smear, I don't know, smear treats on it, bacon on it, something that Bob really likes on it. So it smells wonderful. Uh, possibly even get, there's a, there's a product called uh, Comfort Zone with DAP. It's a pheromone product that helps reduce fear. So this might be really good for Bob. You can use that, get a spray, spray the leash with that so that when he smells the leash, it's telling him, don't be afraid. Everything's cool. Everything's calm. And then every time the leash goes on Bob, give him something that he really, really likes, a reward, some kind of a treat, a ball, a toy that he absolutely loves. Don't make these marathon sessions. Make them 10 seconds long, then 30 seconds long, then a minute long, and then expand it that way. And make everything stop before Bob gets too shy. Don't baby talk him. Don't give him uh, rewards for acting shy. Instead, say, oh, Bob, what a brave boy. Good boy. Let's go, Bob. We're going for a walk. This is going to be great. And jolly him along.